Welcome back to Wudao Music and this week's Shao tutorial. In today's episode, we'll be going through the full musical scale and I'll share with you the fingering positions for the low, middle, and high registers. The Shao itself is actually capable of covering quite a big range in overall pitch. And the unique thing about it is that because the Shao doesn't have a mouthpiece, we can create a lot of those changes with the embouchure alone. So for example, without changing the fingering position, we can go from low to middle to high registers. However, that's usually not the way that we play Xiao. Typically, when you get to the higher notes, you're going to simplify some of the fingering positions, and that also helps to distinguish it away from the lower registers so you don't get too much crossover. So, you're probably familiar with charts like this one that show the full range of the musical scale, all the flats and sharps in between. That can be a little bit complicated, so I've simplified it into this chart so that you can see all of the major tones, everything you're going to spend most of your time playing during songs and practice. Now, in standard tuning, the lowest note is actually going to be a 5. So that lowest register is only going to have 3 notes, 5, 6, 7. So if we start with everything pressed down and we relax the embouchure, we're going to get our low register. Then, remember lifting one finger is going to raise one pitch. With the exception of the second hole ring finger on the right hand and the sixth hole middle finger on the left hand, those will stay covered. Those are our flat notes, they're kind of just our base positions. Otherwise, you lift one finger and you have one change. So, lower scale, five, pinky six, middle finger seven. That's the low scale. Three notes. Then, we move into the middle register. From here, the first part of it is the same. We start with one, we lift the ring finger, two, we lift the index, three. Then, when we get to four, we're going to lift the back hole, we're going to lift the thumb, okay? But we're also going to replace the index and the ring finger on the top. So we're going to have two, uh, five, six, and seven covered, okay? That's just because with the thumb lifted by itself, that's going to be a little bit sharp. So we're going to flatten it by covering these two to make it just a little bit lower. Also, the next note is going to be everything covered again, like the low uh, register five. Middle register five, same thing. So that helps you, if you have these three already covered, it helps you just to drop this one hand and you have the next change. A variation on five is you can cover the thumb hole, but you can also leave it open, okay? I tend to leave it open when I'm going from four to five, just because it's a little bit quicker and it's easier to make sure that you stay in the middle register. But covering that back hole for middle register five, is gonna be the same thing. So either way, you can, you can try that out, okay? So then we go five, six, and seven, and we have our full middle register, okay? Full middle. Then we can move into the high register. From here, the first couple notes are exactly the same, one, two, and three, just like the middle register. Once we get to four, however, we're going to start having variations. So in the book, it's going to tell you to actually keep the thumb covered and replace three, four, and five. So the only thing open will be number one with the pinky finger and number seven with the index. This is going to be a little bit of a complicated progression. What I prefer is to simplify it by going one, two, three, then removing the thumb and only replacing the index finger on seven. Okay, that's going to be an easier progression considering the next note is replacing the ring finger. So your five in the higher register is going to be the same as the four in the middle register. Now the reason for that I think is just because when you get to those higher notes, you don't need the resonance of the full flute to make that tone, to make that pitch, so we can get away with doing it up here. Okay, but that means when we shift, if we did the standard change here, we have a lot more to change when we get to five. If you go one, two, three, remove the thumb in one, then we only have to drop one finger to go down into five. You're gonna get the same pitch, so the variation is up to you which you prefer, right? We can go with the standard. 
or we can go simplified. And you don't get much of a difference, nothing noticeable, so there you can try with two different variations what you prefer. Then from there, six is going to be a little complicated. We're going to have five. We're going to replace the thumb, replace the middle finger, and lift the ring finger. Okay, so now the only thing open will actually be four and five. Okay, we can actually have this one open as well, and it doesn't change anything on number three. But the next note is going to require us to cover most everything. So it's easier to have this covered since it doesn't change anything in the overall pitch. Okay. Then for seven, we're going to replace these two and lift number six, the middle finger on the left hand. That's the only time we're going to move that. The other variation would be half holing on seven with the index finger. And because we don't do too many half holes throughout the rest of the scale, it's easier to lift this finger and get that flat note anyway. Okay, so seven will be everything covered except for six. Now, we actually have a double high register note. The final note on here will be another do, another number one with two dots above it. Now, that one is going to be accomplished by recovering that six hole and then lifting seven and four. So both index fingers will come up and you'll have your, uh, your bay doing, your double high number one. Okay, then you have your full high register. That is the full musical scale. If you want to download these charts and get other resources, you can join our Discord. The link is in the description. We have notation, resources, and also you can connect with a community of other Shao players. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, keep practicing, and we'll catch you next week.